Cairo, the ancient city on the Nile, on October 6, 1981. The capital of Egypt was getting ready for a big military parade to celebrate the past wars with Israel. For 30 years, Egypt had lived in a constant state of war with the Jewish state, from the War of Independence in 1948 to the most recent war during Yom Kippur in 1973. But Egyptian President Anwar Sadat knew that the wars had exhausted the Egyptian economy, that the U.S. would never permit the Arabs to destroy Israel. In 1979, Sadat traveled to Washington and signed a peace treaty with his arch rival, Prime Minister Menachem Begin. But by signing the treaty, Sadat had signed his death warrant. His Arab allies condemned the accord. Sadat became a pariah and a marked man. Two years later, he sat down to watch his parade jets flew over the stand. It was a signal. An army truck pulled up, four soldiers jumped out and opened fire. Vice President Mubarak was unhurt, but President Sadat and 11 other officials were killed or fatally wounded. 30 others were injured. A group led by an army lieutenant had killed Sadat to punish him for the peace accord and to create an Islamic revolution inspired by the example of Iran. But the streets of Cairo were quiet after the assassination and no hoped-for popular uprising followed. Meanwhile, Anwar Sadat, the man who had defied everything to put an end to the madness of war, had succumbed to violence himself.